Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, this is Ian G0XBU. Just wanted to um, show you the new layout for the web STR, the Jodrell Bank web STR that I've made and run you through some bits on it. It's a completely new front end design as you can see. So um, so yeah, let me show you. So the first thing I, I think is probably best to do for the best experience, if you, um, once you've opened your browser, if you go to like full screen view, uh, that gets rid of all the top bars and then zoom in to kind of the, the level you want. Um, when you first, let me just refresh the page, when you first log into it, it uh, sometimes it takes a while to load. Audio controls, I'm just, uh, I've got this here for now, let me just turn this down. Um, I've got this banner up at the moment just to remind you that it's the, the new uh, front end and if you want to go back to the original you just click this tab and it will take you back to the original uh, You can remove this banner. I, I won't keep it up there forever. I've just got it there as a bit of a, a message to everybody um, It just takes up space. So this is how I like to have it full screen um, It fits perfectly then which is good and it fits all the, the bottom tabs in as well um, As you can see it's uh, it's a bit more the approach is a bit more simple, but I think it's a bit neater, to be honest. Um, uh, the other one was kind of very button heavy. Uh, so we still got pretty much the same controls, but they're all just hidden amongst the tabs now. So I, I've got this cool graphic that I've um, I've found. Just move that there. Turn the volume down. <clears throat> so that's just, um, it really, it's just a, just a complete visual graphic only it doesn't have any uh, any relevance to the um to the actual kind of volume level or anything the only thing i have made managed to make it do is when you hit the mute button i've made it disappear as well so it just it's just for fun that is completely and utterly for fun there's another one under the dsp controls as well which uh, which again it's just it's just pure fun that is anyway as you go through the tabs the original features are all still there uh waterfall controls etc it's all there um, the super zoom functions not perfect but it sort of works uh, but it just it's, it aids you if you want to zoom in on a on something a window or something like that um, it's uh, it's quite good for that I think but um, yeah the uh, the other thing I've done as you can see I've, uh, I've changed the uh, the lines on the waterfall it uh, before when you zoomed in it used to really annoy me actually um, it would cover it would it was um, grayed out so it would cover whatever you were trying to look at um, and it really did bug me that you couldn't see it so uh, when it bugs me then it gets sorted so uh, so I've fixed that so I've just got these these lines instead now uh, which is good because you can grab them wherever you want and move it across something so and, and get it exactly within the, uh, the the frequency range so that's good um that's the only difference i think on there dsp controls are all the same notch two happens to be on here i could move that to uh where notch one is um maybe just for simplicity but at the moment it's it's in the same position it used to be there all the signal enhancement buttons again filter exactly the same what it does now is if you say you're on usb and you click to fm that moves as well and changes the the, the to the relevant uh kilohertz so up to 16 kilohertz you can go up and down the band as well um oh it looks like i need to change the radius of that white um that thing there so i'll do that uh, it should look like that so it's not um filled in that's good um so yeah that's on the filter controls that's all the same memories again it's all the same as it was uh, recording the same as it was start stop and then download uh, now what we've done is instead of at the bottom of the page we had all the information um, which took up quite a lot of page I've now put that in a separate tab called info so all the bars that were along the top are, are now here uh, I've got the donate button there as well if you, if you feel you want to donate thanks very much for those who have it all helps uh, so yeah this is all the info page with all the updates and things like that that I've added and, and stuff like that so yeah feel free to have a browse uh, the page layout is probably really useful actually if you want to change colors the themes are very similar so just click the themes and it will change colors and backgrounds um, to whatever you want really well I say whatever you want these are the options um, it's just something different if you get bored of the same one Jodrell that's a picture of Jodrell Bank although you need to zoom out really to see the the dish there you go uh, I took that with my drone don't tell them um, and space theme etc 
these are all on you, you're probably aware of these from before uh, you can change the LCD italics um, you can click this button it will go back to the original uh, layout again it just takes you to a new web page and then reset I think I've got that set yeah there you go it goes back to normal again uh, you can change the font color this is just same as it was before it's just a random generator of colors just if you fancy a change same with the sliders you can move them to different colors same with the background I don't really like this feature I never use it but because it, it picks wild horrible bright backgrounds for some reason um, so I never bother with it but um, but it's there if you decide you want to you know make your eyes hurt um, so again, any anything you've done here, you just click reset, it'll go back to the same thing, or just press F5 and refresh the page. So there you go, that's the, the, the page layout uh, thing. Sometimes I'll go on that and use it. Uh, users are now put in this tab, so you can see who's online. Uh, the good thing about this now is it's actually, sorry about the microphone, it's actually level with the, the um, waterfall now, so you can kind of see roughly where people are. So, um, so that's quite handy. Uh, if you scroll down, it gives you the, the, the visitors as well to the page on 320,000 since August 2020. So that's not bad going. Uh, chat, that's now placed in this new tab, um, which is good for people to make comments, etc. Um, logbook is now available on this tab. Uh, and what I've done is I've made it so it's it's visible all the time. So that you just if say you um, add an entry, it won't come up unless you click refresh. Uh, that refreshes the page. This is actually called an iframe, um, and it's just a, a web window within a window, if you like. So that's actually uh, going and looking at the where you used to click a button that took you to the last 20 lines of the logbook, and now all that's doing is it's showing it on here instead, which I think is a bit of a nicer layout, isn't it? It's a bit easier to use. Uh, what else have we got? So at the top, we've got all the, the bands as before. Um, I've added this digi tab as well, mainly because... I wanted to um, keep it uniform, and if I add, if I had one less uh, mode here, it made all it, 20 meters went up there, and it made it all look a bit funny. So I added that in. M my idea of that is to, if you do go to the digi modes like FT8 or whatever, and you want to listen to them, you should normally be on about three um, three kilohertz uh, spacing. So I, I'm not sure why this isn't working. I will get to the bottom of it, but when you click that, it should change this to three. But it doesn't seem to be working so because yeah but i'll get there you can just manually drag it um, and move it to three instead but uh, and obviously the bands uh, they're all the same as before you just click and it will change to each band uh, you still if you want i don't really recommend it but it's up to you because uh, but if you want to you can have all bands selected again and it will remember that setting um, and then obviously scroll down and see them all but of course then um, if you do want to say quickly change the audio or whatever, it's now at the very bottom. Um, so you've got to scroll all the way back down and back up again to do things. So I, what I might do is I might make it so it's it's single band only um, or it defaults to single band and it doesn't remember your last setting because that could be quite annoying, I think, because now if I don't change it back, it will just remember that I was on all bands. Um, so I, I think I prefer it with this look now. But anyway, like I said, if you don't like it, and you prefer the original you can just go back to the original um this is now um let me come out of this mode if you click like i've got them saved here um it's just the can you see the address there um g0 xp ddns.net it, it's just that's the default but if you put forward slash original.html on the end of that that will take you to the original um so what i can do as well is i think i should have it set on this oh dear so oh no i haven't i need to change that but if you click that normally that i think this one works there you go it goes back to the original original view that you're all used to instead so but i'll just change uh, literally i'm just i'm still working on this but i'll uh, i'll change this one so that it goes to there as well um in fact if you like for a bit of interest uh, we'll log into the web sdr and remotely and we'll go and do it shall we um Ah, right, let me get my head around this. So this is the um, this is the web page um, index file. Um, so what I need to do is find original on here, and then hopefully it will take me to this. Is... Where are we? Come on, seven. Ah, there it is. 
Oh yeah, look, I've not put forward slash bl um, original on the end. That's the reason. Original. Original. There we go. So hopefully dot HTML. That should work. So if I click save and then we go and refresh the browser. It's going to take a second to load. Mute it a minute and then go to page layout and then back to the original. It should. Oh, damn, it still isn't working. Hold on a minute. Why isn't it working? Have I got the right button here? Yes, page layout theme. Back to original. Okay, let's have a look what we've called it then maybe it's not called original these are all the files that the web server is using um, it's, it gets very complicated but it's it's I spend loads of time playing with it so they're all the JavaScript files for various functions I keep adding things and messing around with them I've got like a test one that I'm playing with as well just to, to see if I can get other things working but it's not always the case um, you know what? I don't think it's in. Oh no, we're in the wrong bit. That's why. Pub. Now, now then, original. Is it called original index? Oh, original dot html. Yes, it should be that original dot html. Okay, and it should be. Let me just test it works by just going to the. It, oh, look at that! I've typed it wrong. I wonder if you'd spotted that as I was. You know, when you're watching a video back, you see the mistake immediately, don't you? But. There we go, right, okay, plugger. Okay, so now if I retype that. That should, again. That should work after that. What's that? HTML. Idiot, HTML dot blank. Save that, refresh again. Welcome to the world of playing with web SDRs. Okay, this time. Right, now page layout, back to original. There we go, I fixed it for you. <laughs> okay, so now my video, when it says you can go back to the original, you really can go back to the original. But like I say, the, the banner's got it on as well, but I'm gonna get rid of this banner after maybe a week or so, once everybody's used to it. Um, it's literally just there, just to warn everybody. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, feel free to um, pop any comments in the chat. Um, I, I'm working on some, some other bits. Um, I, I like all these visual things. I, I'm quite into the visual stuff. Uh, let me just turn the volume off on my uh, recording software, and then you hopefully won't hear this now. Uh, I could hear it, but you can't. Um, yeah, I like all these kind of visual things, and it, it just it just makes it fun and, and nice to look at. Um, so yeah, I'm quite into that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, other things are I'd like to be able to save exactly what settings you've changed. So say you go and make the font color something that you like, and then the slide is a certain color, the you know, and whatever. Um, I'd like to be able to save all that. I know somebody did ask me about that, whether it can be done. Uh, and I think it can, and it, it's done in what you call cookies. Yeah, and and you know when you go to websites these days and you click on a website, this frustrates hell out of me actually, but you click on a website and then it brings up all these these warnings saying, do you want to accept the cookies? And I hate it, it really. That's why you'll never see it on this website because it really bugs me. Um, you just want to quickly visit a website and you've got to click the accept cookies or reject them. But th they are on this website as well. And the reason is uh, things like one band and that sort of stuff, I think that's saved in a cookie. So what I can do is I can save some of these settings when I work out how to do it into a cookie. And then when you visit the website, it will save that as a cookie, which lasts however long you set it for, I think 3000 days or something. Um, and then um, and then when you return to the website, it should save exactly what things you had set. But I've got, just got to work out what, you know, say for instance, say you wanted to always visit CB on SSB and I could get it to remember that. However, if you did do that, there's another way of doing it instead, which is um, in the actual uh, browser where um, 
where you actually visit the site if you do forward slash um i think it's is it tune equals and then type the frequency in kilohertz 27 should we try that 27 let's try a cb no let's try a different one 555 because that would be 555 fm i think that goes directly to it uh, there you go so that's another way of doing it so you just that's how you type that's how you go exactly to a frequency so what you could then do now is save that as your in your bookmarks tab and then you can always visit exactly at that frequency that you want to um so yeah that's another useful little tip uh, what are the little features have i got tips um that's all it's all really a lot of the developer stuff i do um and how i do that is if i right click on a web page and click inspect uh, i do most of the testing this way um if i want to say change the color of the buttons and things like that i um i click inspect and uh, wow this is going slow at the moment i've got too many things open on the pc and then it brings up all of the stuff that's running in the background for this um for the web page and then you can sort of work out where to position stuff so say what's that margin left one um that's see what i mean you just you just unclick things and play and it changes so margin left oh yeah look so i can move that box over there if i want to or that way and then i'll mess around on here work out the settings uh, for the element style and then I have to go back into the web page here and then go and find it and then change it like say margins for instance and change it there and then save it and then once I've saved it in here when you refresh the page that will be what everybody sees then um, so yeah that's how it's done um, and they're the new features and the new front end so yep yeah, like I say put any comments in the comments box or, or email me directly and uh, I hope you like the new layout and yeah well, both uh, both servers are the same now again if you click server 2 it will take you to server 2 should we test that uh, there we go server 2 so it's exactly the same as server 1 and i've not got the um the kind of displays in yet but i'll, I'll probably pop them in but yeah there you go that's uh, that's everything hope that was useful to some people and see you soon